What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for watching my video. And uh, let's see if I can do this without the headset, because to be perfectly honest, I can't stand that stupid thing. So if this works out audio-wise, more power to me. So, quick little video. I wanted to talk about a couple of things I'm going to be looking to do and um, some, hopefully, advice for other people. Um, those of you who've been watching my videos for a while know that back in January I lost my DJ job. Um, I still have my massage business, so that's been going well, and um, I sell my Oregon pyramids and stuff like that, so I have income and everything's been going quite well. Um, the more I research, the more I learn about learning from positive people. And one of the things that people tend to say is follow your highest joy. In other words, don't always live in fear. In other words, staying at a job that you hate just because it's making you enough money because you're afraid that if you can't find something else, you're not going to be able to pay your bills and things, and you end up staying stagnant in a place like a pond. Ponds get very stagnant, and the water turns all green, and it's full of algae, and it sometimes can get really musty smelling. It's the rivers that are clean and clear. Why? Because they, are, they continue to flow. They continue to move. So for some reason... Um, I started, I made a decision about two weeks ago to go back to being a vegetarian. I gave up the meat, which, by the way, a couple of people asked me about that. It's been two weeks now. I've had zero craving. Um, I'm one of those people that does not have an addictive personality. So when I wanted to stop drinking alcohol, I stopped. When I wanted to stop drinking soda, I stopped. Um, I've always been that way. When I didn't want to watch uh, the television mainstream media, I took out the cable box that was almost two years now going on, and I haven't missed it one bit. So me deciding to no longer eat meat, which is a personal choice. It may not be for everybody. Um, once I decide not to do something, I just no longer have cravings for it. It just automatically shuts off, which for me is awesome. But since I've been doing that, I've been think thinking about getting into more organic stuff. So all of a sudden I started getting excited about when I went shopping, instead of buying the usual garbage that I was buying, because people pointed out the taco video that I made about how to make those vegetarian tacos, how some of that stuff had some you know, GMO, genetically modified foods in it, it started making me really think about going more organic, which the sad thing is 50 years ago throughout the – and you take the rest of the history up until about – roughly about 50 years ago, food was just food. So it's sad that it has to be organic now and it has to cost more money, which – probably why they do it, but all of a sudden I started really getting excited about eating better and living better, and one of the things I started looking on on YouTube, and I'm going to make videos about this when I get all the ingredients, is I, I decided now, I, I, I did a video a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, you could check out about how to make uh, your own natural toothpaste, well, I've made a whole new one that I'm going to, I'm going to do a video on so you could learn how to do it. I'm going to start learning how to make organic soaps and shampoos. So I will make videos on how to do this. And I'm actually, I've gotten so excited about it that on my website where I do the organs, which is all natural with stones and crystals, I actually started thinking about just being excited about wanting to sell some of the organic soaps and the shampoos and actually even um, deodorants. Now, of course... I am going to make videos to show you how to make them. So it's not like I'm making this and saying, oh, you got to buy from me. I'm going to show you how to make them. But I've gotten to the point where I am just so excited to go down this path. I'm just curious to see where it leads. And I want people out there to realize that a lot of us in our lifetime get stuck. And we're so afraid of closing a door that's really bad for us, like a bad relationship or a bad job or a bad living situation, whatever, because they're so afraid when you shut that door, there's that darkness that you have to go through. And people are so afraid of that darkness that they will cling on to that old door like their life depended on it, even if it's miserable. So you'll get people that stay in abusive relationships or have jobs where they absolutely hate it because they're familiar with it and they fear the unknown. But what they don't realize is if you follow your highest joy, your, your highest excitement, there will be a little darkness because you have to transition. But it will always take you to a better place if you believe in yourself and you let go of the fear. 
that's some of the things I've had to learn through some of the things that even on YouTube, with some of the things that I had coming towards me, that made me have to question the fact, am I a strong person or am I a person that gives in to the fear? And the more I let go of that fear, the more exciting things become. And I wish I could describe how I'm feeling. And if, for me, if somebody said a year ago that I would be excited about buying organic foods and buying organic products to make my own soap, shampoos, and deodorants and end up having it potentially be some kind of business where I can actually help do something positive for the world, contribute something beneficial, because instead of having all those chemicals going down your drain, it's all natural. And instead of putting toxins and chemicals that they put in these soaps and deodorants, I'd be providing something that helps people. And that actually makes me feel good because I even learned this, that I didn't know, for example, when I made that toothpaste video, I didn't know that the Arm & Hammer baking soda had aluminum in it. Good thing I made the video because people pointed that out. So I'm going to show another ingredient when I make the other videos. I, like I said, i got to wait for all the ingredients to come in. Um, where there is a baking soda that is organic and is aluminum-free. And I've been buying aluminum-free Arm & Hammer deodorant for the longest time, for the past year or two. Now, I didn't know that baking soda actually from Arm & Hammer has aluminum in it. So even though their product says aluminum-free because they're not adding aluminum, well, they're not telling you that their baking soda has aluminum in it. Deceit? I'll leave that for you to decide. So for me, I'm curious to see where this goes. And the funny thing is I have been a karaoke DJ since 1999, and I don't miss it anymore. Now, I have some private parties I'm doing. I, I think I might stick with just doing private parties because it's four hours, maybe five hours, three hours, between three and five hours. I make I could make anywhere from 200 to 600 in one shot, and it's not all the time. And the people that are hiring me are people that I've done parties with for years, so they absolutely love what I do, and that's why they continue to call me. But my regular DJ job, the employees there, every bar I ever worked at, the employees, the bar owners, they were just annoying, we'll put it that way. And I loved it for so long. Now all of a sudden, I may never even want to go back to doing that. Is it scary? It should be, but I'm not afraid. I really think looking to my highest joy is going to bring me more joy and give me what I need to survive. Because as much as there are a few people out there that like to make the fact of, oh, you're selling stuff, well, can anybody explain to me how they get their food or pay their bills with anything other than the fiat dollars? Unfortunately, we do live in the system. Corrupt or not, there are no alternatives now. I'm waiting to see one. If somebody comes up with a better idea, I'm all for it, and I'll be on the bandwagon right away. But until that time, dollars are a necessary evil until we can find another way. So the idea is to minimize. Like, my goal is not to become some millionaire and have millions of dollars. My goal is to just make, unfortunately, enough to be able to survive and live happily. And if that means just getting by and being happy, that's fine with me, because... Back between 2004 and 2007, I was making more money than I knew what to do with. I mean, I was one of the people buying the first HD DVD players and Blu-ray players. I bought a 65-inch high-definition TV. I bought originally an HD TV before HD came out on cable. It was only 480p at the time. But I, when, when something broke, instead of trying to fix it, I'd just buy another one. But I wasn't happy. And now I'm happier than I've ever been. That doesn't mean I'm you know, running around saying, la, 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 the world is perfect. But I feel good about this. So I want people to, to trust in themselves and know that good things could be happy and good things could be possible if you let go of the fear and trust that when you close that old door, a new one is always there for you to find, and it always brings you to a better place. That darkness in between is the show, Are You Capable of Losing That Fear? I hope you will. Give this a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Like and share it. And if you're not part of the Barna Nation, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, guys, to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Thanks for watching, and those videos will be coming soon. Because like I said, even though I might get to the point where I might start selling them, I'm going to show you guys how to do it so you don't have to buy them from me. Thanks for watching. Peace.